that's how I would play the song, mostly on finger picking. Now let's talk about the chords. The chords for the intro are mostly suspended chords, uh, with the second and the fourth notes added to the root note and to either the third or the fifth note. The first among the suspended chords is the A suspended 2 slash 4 no third. I call it that way because uh, usually suspended chords would either have the second or the fourth notes. But for this song, it's just the second and the fourth notes are there. So I would call it A suspended 2 slash 4. But the third note is missing but we have the fifth note well that's because ukulele has only four strings so we cannot really complete everything in there so there's the root note the fifth note and the second and the fourth note so i call it a suspended two slash four the fingering would be this one i would have my index finger on the fourth string middle finger on the third string the second string is left open and then the ring finger on the first string all three fingers at first fret the next is f suspended two slash four no third just like the a suspended two slash four no third this one is in uh, key of f i mean in f major scale there must be the second and the fourth notes so i call it suspended two slash four but the third note is missing, but we have the fifth note. So I call it F suspended 2 slash 4 no third. For F suspended 2 slash 4 no third, I would have my middle finger on the second string at first fret and my ring finger on the first string at first fret. So both fingers at first fret. The third chord for the intro is G suspended 2 slash 4 no third. Just like the first and the second uh, chords of the intro, G suspended 2 slash 4 no third has the second and the fourth notes of the major scale in key of G, but we can't have the third note anymore. But we do have the fifth note. So that's why I call it G suspended 2 slash 4 no third. For G suspended 2 slash 4 no third, I would have my index finger as a bar finger at 2nd fret, pressing all 4 strings. My middle finger on the 2nd string at 3rd fret. And my ring finger on the 1st string at 3rd fret. The other suspended chord is what I call G suspended 4th, no 3rd. Uh, this chord has the 4th note, but it has the, the root note and the fifth note but again it has no third note for g suspended fourth no third i would have my index finger on the third string at second fret my middle finger on the second string at third fret and my ring finger on the first string at third fret the other chord for the intro is what i call a minor seven no fifth. Well, it's because the fifth note is missing, but we do have the flat third and the flat seventh with the root note. For A minor seventh, no fifth, I would have my index finger on the fourth string at second fret and my middle finger on the second string at third fret. For D major chord, I would play it with my middle finger on the 4th string at 2nd fret, my ring finger on the 3rd string at 2nd fret, and my pinky on the 2nd string at 2nd fret. So all 3 fingers at 2nd fret. For A minor 7, I would have my index finger flat on 3 strings at 3rd fret, and then my second finger or middle finger goes on the third string at fourth fret. For C or C major chord, I would play it with my ring finger on the first string at third fret. For A major chord, 
Your index finger would be on the third string at first fret. Your middle finger on the fourth string at second fret. For a G major chord, you have your index finger on the third string at second fret, your middle finger on the first string at second fret, and your ring finger on the second string at third fret. For E minor, index on the first string at second fret, middle finger on the second string at third fret, and ring finger on the third string at fourth fret. For D minor 7, your index finger on the 2nd string at 1st fret, middle finger on the 4th string at 2nd fret, ring finger on the 3rd string at 2nd fret, and your pinky, pinky would be on the 1st string at 3rd fret. For F major chord, index finger on the 2nd string at 1st fret, middle finger on the 4th string at 2nd fret. For transition of suspended chords for the intro, we have this for our A suspended to slash for no third. And then to move to F suspended to slash for no third. And then to go to G suspended to slash for no third. And then back to A suspended to slash for no third. And then to F suspended to slash for no third. And then to G suspended for no third. And then back to A suspended to slash for no third. To F suspended to slash for no third. And to A minor 7 no fifth. Now let's talk about finger picking pattern. The right hand fingers have notation. The thumb letter E. Index finger, letter I, middle finger, letter M, and ring finger, letter A. But for this song, my suggestion of the pattern doesn't require the use of the ring finger. So for the pattern that I'm suggesting, we will be using only the thumb, which is letter P, the index finger, letter I, and the middle finger, letter M. And the finger picking pattern, I would assign my, my thumb on the third string. So here's where my P is. And then my index finger is assigned on the second string. And this is where my I would be. And my middle, middle finger on the first string. And so this is where my M would be. So P, I, and M. For the pattern that I'm suggesting here is only for the third, second, and the first strings. I'm not suggesting for the fourth string to be finger pick. So the pattern is only applied on the third, second, and the first strings. And then the pattern goes this way. P, I, M, P, I, M, I, M. So that is the order of the right hand fingers or the sequence of the right hand fingers. Again, P, I, M, P, I, M, I, M. So if we read the letters or the sequence of the letters, we would read it as Pim, Pimim. The pattern E I M P I M I M is good for one measure. So if a chord is played for four measures, or if a chord is to be played for four measures, that would mean you would have to do the pattern.
four times as the pattern is good for one measure. The finger picking pattern for A major chord is we know that this is A, but for finger picking, since my suggestion of the pattern doesn't involve the fourth string, so we can simply have this for our A. So for the pattern, and A major chord is played for four measures. So we will be doing four rounds of the pattern. So it goes like this. And that's four rounds. For finger picking of A minor, A minor is one to be played for one measure. So we will do one round of the pattern only. Finger picking for G. For finger picking of D major chord. Earlier I suggested that D is played this way with these three fingers. This is my preferred for strumming. But for finger picking, I would suggest that you use these three fingers. So D would be played this way. Since we are not finger picking the fourth string, so we can also play D this way. So the finger picking for D and D is played for two measures, it goes this way. So if I'm going to play the sequence of these chords A, E minor, G, and D, it would go this way. So for the next part of the song, at a slower tempo, it goes like this. Then for F it's strum. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if it is, please do not forget to click the like button. And also I'm after your subscription. Please do subscribe if you haven't done it yet. My target is to be able to reach 1000 subscribers this year. Thank you so much for watching this video.